Greetings Dungeon Team fans, Rob here from Wakefield Studios with a quick video that is dedicated to uh, Dungeon Team player Siler, who has been complaining lately uh, that the recent balance changes have broken his Ranger build. He seems to feel that this uh, uh, the new armor and uh, the changes to the single target damage abilities have made it impossible for him to be tanky characters. Now, uh, I'm going to show you how to build your ranger to beat tanky characters like Sindri's Paladin. Now, if you're going to go with a kiting strategy, which is what you should be doing with your ranger, a weeping weapon or a venomous weapon would also be extremely powerful. Anyway, uh, so here, your abilities, we're going to, you know, our primary source of damage is not going to be the basic arrow attack because they have too much armor. You're only going to do 30 damage, you know, and I understand your frustration when you're looking at those numbers, but, you know, think outside the box, man. Use bleed damage, okay? Razor Shot is your number one damaging ability. You're just going to stack bleeds and run away, you know. You're just going to kite them, okay? Another clutch ability for this kiting strategy is Leg Shot. Put it at level five i'd like to do more but because you're only level 36 um you don't quite have all the ability points to max out everything but this is a clutch ability keep your opponent slowed that's how you're going to stay away okay here the clutch ability that you know you didn't have at all in your build is leap level 10 you gotta have it okay and you gotta max it you're okay without further ado let us take on sindri's palatank and uh where, you know, if, if it goes well, he's not even going to touch me, man. Watch this, okay? First turn, because you have that speed build, which is, you know, which is good. So the first thing we're going to do is apply leg shot and apply a slow, okay? Keep him slowed. Always, always, always keep him slowed. If he's slowed and you're far enough away, then you're free to apply a uh, razor shot bleed. Okay, that's the first one. Might get one hit in here. Ah too bad. I mean, yeah, that hurts, but again, we're just going to play keep away, okay? So, uh, leap. We want to stay in range of our bow attacks, which is six. So count one, two, three, four, five, six. It's good. All right, and we're going to get a turn way before him because he's slowed. There's the first damage tick. Only 45, but when we stack 10 of these things on him, he's going to take 450 damage per tick. Uh, Actually, it looks like his slow wore off, so let's make sure and apply that before we do any more razor shots. Okay, he slowed. Apply another bleed. I think we've got enough for some adrenaline. There we go. One more bleed. Yeah, the blocking and the dodging is annoying, but you know, with this kiting strategy, he can't do anything except charge at you. Leap away. And I think we don't have any AP left. But that's fine. Now he's taking 88 per tick. He his slow wore off, so we'll do another leg shot. Oh, he resisted. That's unfortunate. Okay, there we got him that time. Another razor shot. Oh, not enough action points. So he might get close this time and do a little bit of damage. Ah, there he did the. Uh, taunt. I'm surprised he didn't do more of that. So, you know, that's a good move that the AI should be doing more. I'm surprised it doesn't do more. So, you know, okay, a little bit of trouble here, that's true, but that's why we have the heal ability uh, equipped, right? So, alright, he's nice and slowed, so we'll apply another bleed or two. He's gonna start taking two or three hundred per tick. And just for good measure, because we can, let's heal off that little bit of damage that he got in on us. As you can see, oh, magic. As you can see, this fight is a total pushover. Okay, leap away. All right, he's gonna get in and do a little bit of damage again. It's true. Maybe. Ah, see, we're still, we're so much faster. Isn't that great? Leap away. A little bit of adrenaline. Apply the slow. 
Anyway, he's taking 254. All we can we could just leap away, you know, we could just not do anything but just kite him now and leap, you know, just keep leaping to the opposite side of the board and he's going to die from the the damage that we've already applied, yeah. We'll just see how high we can get that last bleed tick to uh, to go. It's going to be like 500 now. Okay, and kaboom, he's dead. And he barely even touched you, the little bit of damage he did. Uh, you just healed off. If anything, the, uh, the tank AI is kind of problematic here because he should have been taunting you more often. That would have, you know, made it more of a fight. I don't know why the AI is only doing that once. I will get in and, and work on that. But as you can see, the Ranger is not broken. You just need to rethink the way that you build him. Thanks for watching, and Siler, I love you, man. And uh, to everyone out there, come join the fun at DungeonTeam.com. I'm Rob from Wakefield Studios, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.